Okay, so why don't we take a look at some bit more famous bugs that kind of fit this basic flow chart. So let's talk about a bug that happened to the Mars Climate Orbiter. Uh, Mars Climate Order Orbiter was sent off to Mars in 1998, and there were some uh, uh, miscommunications, let's say, between NASA and the people they contracted out to, which was Lockheed Martin. And by the time that the Mars Climate Orbiter actually got to Mars, which was in uh, 1999, quite a while later, there had been some problems that caused the orbiter to drift off course enough that it basically ran into a suicide mission and crashed into the Martian atmosphere and broke up and crashed into the planet. So what happened was a basic unit error. See, NASA expected units in metric, for example, meters per second. And Lockheed Martin programmed in English units, for example, feet per second. And neither of these are wrong. I mean, they're both entirely valid ways to, to program a rocket. And the underlying code was actually correct, at, at least in terms of this bug. Didn't have anything to do with the underlying code. But because the NASA software was expecting units in meters per second, and the Lockheed Martin software was sending feet per second English units, uh, they, that miscommunication caused this drift off that caused the Mars Climate Orbiter to crash into the Martian atmosphere and into the planet. So why don't we go ahead and turn this into a quiz. Was this a bug in the software under test, that is the actual software of the Mars Climate Orbiter? Was it a bug in the acceptability test when they tested the actual software earlier on? Was it a bug in the specification? Was there actual, actually an underlying bug in how they planned on operating the Mars Climate Orbiter? Or was there a bug in the underlying hardware or libraries or compiler or the operating system of the rocket? So go ahead and mark your answer here.